everyone welcome back to my channel so as you can see i am quite red i am suffering from rosacea um my face often stings and burns so i'm going to be trialing out over the next few weeks um different skin um today is day two um i started yesterday um but i didn't film the footage I thought it might be useful because if my new routine works, then it'd be nice for other people to see. So on Monday, I'm ordering some new skincare. Then once I've done that, and I apologise for my breathing, I have severe lung disease. And this is my face on the night of day one. Um, and we'll see how we go. So here we are. This is day two. As you see, I'm very red today. It has been quite a humid day. This is the morning of day three. I look greasy because I've just put sunscreen on. I've got a really red bit here. A really, really red bit here. My face feels like it's burning. I am in so much pain this morning with it. It's unbelievable. But hopefully we can get on top of it. And it'll be okay. Made the mistake of... Mm. Putting um, a non-fragrance free moisturiser cream on had to wash it off and now my face is stinging but mistakes happen hopefully we can fix them and this is my face in sunlight <laughs> i mean look at it it is horrendous it truly is horrendous i don't know what to do anymore good evening everybody so this is the evening of day three as you can see i've got some yellow bits coming back into my face now as before there was no yellow bit um my skin on my forehead cracked very unfortunate just there i've got a little bit here as well it's cracked it is what it is um so i've ordered my skincare today and um i also picked up i went to spec savers to pick up my glasses i spoke to a lady there she's from new zealand and she suffered from the same problem with rosacea she said she probably spent three grand on products that didn't work she said, and everybody's different. She said, um, but she also had seborrheic dermatitis, which is what I have as well. So that was nice to find someone that had both conditions the same. The reason being is to treat seborrheic dermatitis, you then end up with, and like dermatitis on your scalp, your nose, your ears, you then end up inflaming your face from the products because it's steroid. Without the steroids, your seborrheic dermatitis flares up. With the steroids, you get your rosacea. So it's quite difficult to balance the two. Um, so I'm going to try some fish oils today. This is the Omega-3 fish oils. I mean, I just got the Tesco's fat capsules just to see how they Um, breakouts and things like that but apparently they can also help with your bones um, joint mobility and give a boost to your hair and skin so obviously I need a boost to my skin so that's what we're gonna try and do um, I've got very thick hair which is why my eyebrows look crazy but we're in a pandemic we're in a lockdown I haven't been to a salon so just fitting some bits down that it is said to do for your skin so it reduces your breakouts by reducing inflammation. As you can see, my face is red raw, so inflammation is a big thing. And in doing so, it reduces the severity of your blemishes. Um, apparently, it can also make you less sensitive to the sun, although you still need to use SPF because rosacea and the sun and heat affects your skin. UVB is the problem, not UVA. It hydrates and smooths dry, irritated skin by reducing inflammation, making you less red. Um, by retaining water, which then enables it to enhance your skin barrier, increasing hydration to increase moisture and therefore soothe, dry, soothe dry, irritated or dermatitis prone skin. Let's see how it goes. Is the size of the capsule. Um, I'd say it's probably a centimeter and a half long. And I'm just going to pop this now. It's one a day. Job done. So you can see, this is my face today. Not too horrendous. I've got some yellow bits. Um, my eye has flared, which makes me think that I might have ocular rosacea rather than allergic eye disease. Um, it's not hot today. It's actually, you know, bearable. 
feel it. Nice and cool. And it's softer. And it's so, yeah, you haven't got those jumps out either. Yeah. No, so it is going down. All I've done so far is you Centrum Performance Multivit. But that has quite a lot of selenium in it. And selenium is good for your hair and nails. So make a conscious effort to use that every day. And I've been taking a fish oil supplement, the Omega-3, which I had at home. Um, I took one of them yesterday. And my face is dramatically different from yesterday, isn't it, already? Yeah. Um, and I've not really done anything else with it. I left it completely alone. I washed my face last night just with water. Um, and then this morning I used um, a Cetaphil cleanser, the uh, sensitive one, um, on my face and my sunscreen. And I've just left my face alone since then. Um, so we're getting there, but we'll see if this continues. I did see the um, a paramedic at the doctor's surgery this morning who wanted to prescribe me a beta blocker. But because I've got severe asthma, I can't have a beta blocker because it reduces your heart rate. severe asthma attack and making me very unwell so if you have patients or you are a patient that has severe asthma just know you can't have a beta blocker um but they can help with flushing so i've got something else i'm going to try um i'm not going to try it right now but i'm not going to use it straight away i'm going to see if i flare with my current regime that i'm doing um i've ordered the skincare haven't i dolly yeah um hopefully that'll be with me by monday and we can get on top of this and keep it clear but it's better, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does. But you don't have my stuff, hopefully, when it comes. You won't actually do that other one, will you? No. But yeah, um, we'll see how we get on. Hello, everyone. So this is my face today on day four. Um, the only thing I did differently today compared to yesterday was, um, or the only thing I did differently yesterday to make my skin as you can see i've got more yellow you can actually see that i've got a blue vein in my eye now whereas before you couldn't see that do you see i've actually got like some yellow coming through um and the only thing i did differently from this day compared to the previous two days was taking the omega-3 supplement and my mitchum supplement which has selenium in it which is good for your skin apparently and your hair um, the same thing I did differently. I'm going to put side by side up. I've not used any Protopic this time. I've not used any Calisthen HC cream or Hydrocortisol cream on my face because I want to check with the doctor about what I could do about the spots before I do anything because then I'll treat that and I'll make the rosacea worse. This is the morning of day three. I look greasy because I've just put sunscreen on. I've got a really red bit here. A really really red bit here my face feels like it's burning i am in so much pain this morning this is day four you see a massive difference in my face between this one and the last video you see like a big difference uh i'm not so sore here these aren't so big and hello everybody today is day five you can see things are markedly better um Look at that. So much better. It's just a natural sort of blush now. It doesn't look too horrendous. Like, it's there. But it's not, like, red raw. And it's not all over my forehead. So I'm quite happy. So I thought I'd just fill you in on this. Because I'm overjoyed. This, I can live with. If it's... This is the best it gets, I can live with that. As long as it doesn't burn, itch, sting, and feel irritated. And perhaps I could cover it up if I'm going to photos and things like weddings. So I'm not bright red. But this is livable with. I'm quite happy with this. So yeah. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> this is my face if we're outside. In the sunlight. So much better. I am off to collect my skincare from my mother's house. Which is due to be delivered in the next hour or so.